And then there was three weeks off for Christmas, but it was actually to study because we have exams on the second week of January. So January was entirely cloudy, rainy, and dark, and with me sitting on my desk for most of the time, because I thought that I had fun in December, and now it's time for me to study, and it's I'm doing the balance thing, right? Wrong. It's February now. I got my grades. It wasn't good. Okay, to be very honest, I'm acting like this is the end of the world. It usually is to me. I still have half the semester to go. It's not the end of the world. But the point is, I thought I had it together. I thought I had a balance. And I clearly don't. This is my final year. I cannot be enjoying this soft life right now. And thinking about, oh, what if I work too hard? I'm going to get a burnout. These are like, I'm in my early 20s. I'm going to lose all these years too. Sitting on my desk, studying all the time. But it's also my final year. The next few months uh, is going to determine the last 15 plus years that I've been in education, to me at least. So what are these changes? How am I making these changes? I don't know. I've thought about why I keep needing to rebalance and balance and rebalance my life. And I think students in general need to rebalance their lives or keep having to rebalance their life depending on which year of your degree you're in as well as which point of the academic year that you're in so depending on where you're in like first year it's more about gaining knowledge on your field and which is actually quite similar to GCSEs and A-levels so you have or at least should have more time to adjust to your new life new friends and this is also the first time in academics that the academics doesn't demand like a dedicated good chunk of your day you've got to sort of learn what study habits work for you i think i've said this before but in second year things get harder a lot faster and where you're rather than gaining knowledge you learn how to use the knowledge to design you're also introduced to other aspects of engineering like ethics sustainability construction management project management and then finally you're all of that but in more depth at the same time you're also doing applications and interviews for a graduate job so each year kind of demands different things so you need to keep readjusting your schedules and priorities and then moreover it also depends on what part of the academic year you're in like in may and january exercising the knowledge you already have to be tested on and then in February and maybe like October you're learning new things from new people so you're spending more time trying to adjust different teaching styles and try out different study methods and in March and November I would say you're gonna be doing more coursework which I'm actually doing right now and it's more about problem solving so you kind of 
you have to keep finding balance every few weeks. I would say that the traditional idea of balance of equal work and play, which by the way isn't realistic at all, would be around February, March, which is right now. I'll definitely be able to dedicate more time and energy to romanticize my university life and catch up with friends. <laughs> It's done. Everything's done now. All our exams are done. People are moving out, so that's what's happening. We're all cleaning the kitchen. Uh, how I did, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. It's a problem for results day, which is 25th June. By then, I will be gone to China. I actually got into a, a summer engineering school in China, so I'm gonna go pack for that now.